This is a COVID-19 vaccine, but not as we know it. Oxford University has developed a new nasal spray vaccine. Lyle is one of 42 volunteers taking part in phase one of the trials. He's already been fully vaccinated, but has just had another dose of AstraZeneca up his nose. How was that? You just had the nasal spray. How did, yeah. how did that feel? Um, a lot better than I was expecting. I thought it was going to tingle or something, but I could hardly feel it. It doesn't taste funny. It tasted quite sweet. It was quite sort of sugary taste. Lyle says he wants to be part of the solution to COVID. The team behind this spray aren't promising that yet, but they do hope the benefits will be huge. There may be some room for improvement. We know the current vaccines do have an effect upon transmission uh, of the virus, but they don't seem to completely stop it. And it may be that by giving a vaccine to the nose that we can be more effective in reducing transmission. COVID mainly enters the body through the nose and the mouth. So scientists hope that by spraying the vaccine up the nasal passages, it will give additional strengthened immunity in the part of the body where the virus hits first. Nasal sprays are, of course, more convenient. The flu vaccine is given to children this way and many people prefer them to needles. It's technology that could also have far-reaching effects. Looking at immunity in the nose and in the throat and the lungs as opposed to just standard immunity um, could definitely, I think, change the way that we look at vaccines. It does make sense to think that you should vaccinate potentially via the route of infection. For other viruses, for other not, viruses just not just COVID. Even if the trial is a success, we're at least a year away from having a nasal vaccine. But given we didn't even have a COVID vaccine last year, hopes for success are pretty high. Emily Morgan, ITV News in Oxford.